What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecast, and today we're gonna be unboxing eight new Hot Wheels pullback speeder cars. So this is a really cool line of around 1 43rd scale cars that was introduced late 2023, probably between Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, that came and went very quickly from the stores. I only saw them in a single store, uh, Myers, which is like a Midwest chain. I don't know if they have them all over the United States, um, but I saw one display of them. I bought a few of them right here, the Muscle and Blown and the GMC EV Hummer. Um, and then that was the last time I saw them. But now they are back. I just found these at Target. They're $8.99 a piece and they contain one nicely detailed pullback car. So if you're not familiar with pullback cars, which I'm sure everyone who's into diecaster cars has had one of these or seen one of these some point in their collecting career, um, they're the cars you roll backwards, you wind up the mechanism, it clicks, you let it go, and it drives off. So Hot Wheels has had these type of cars before, but it's been a very long time since we've seen them put the work into a line like this. Uh, a lot of brands have pullback cars. Collectors typically do not collect them. They do not gravitate towards them because they are meant for more play. They're usually not detailed. They're more plasticky looking. Uh, I know Kroger's like the grocery chain. Um, I think that one is actually around most of the country. Um, I know at the end of like our Hot Wheel aisle, they sell different cars. Um, some of them are pretty detailed like Trans Ams, Hellcats, Maseratis. I've bought a few of them. Um, they actually look good. Some have moving parts, but they just don't hit that collector's bell for some reason. I don't know why, um, but they look good. I think it's because they are a little bit cheaper. They're usually like $5. Um, but these, I think, are kind of changing the tides on the pullback cars because what Hot Wheels has done is taken their original castings like the Diminici Veloce, the Bone Shaker, the Heavy Hitcher, Muscle and Blown, and they've upscaled them to that 143rd, but they look excellent like it just looks like you blew up the mainline hot wheels car and a lot of them have moving parts if you can see which is incredible because that's not something that's built into a lot of these cars especially in the mainline so let's go ahead and look at the original packaging um, compared to the new one so uh, like i said this first one kind of came and went from stores um, oh, I probably had the wrong one stacked up there. Um, but as you can see, this is the old one. This is the new one. Uh, they made the packaging a lot more poppier, in my opinion. They took this small uh, engine graphic and put it here to like really emphasize this has a moving part. And it now has a line. So we can kind of start to see how many of these will be released throughout the year. So the Hot Wheels Dream Garage, there are four vehicles here. And this one, the original one, I thought was kind of interesting because it kind of shows you uh, the pullback mechanism, like click, 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 but it has um, the metric measurements first, which is kind of weird because usually it's the um, standard, like the American way to measure things. So it's weird kind of seeing the Euro uh, metric way first. I just thought that was kind of interesting because that usually means that these are going to go all over the world, that this is probably a outside the United States, like a rest of world ROW um, line. So a lot of people should be seeing this line outside the United States would be my guess, because even on the new ones, you'll see that the uh, metric measurement is first, which is interesting. So um, this first line here, this, I don't really see any differences uh, between these two cars. I believe they are identical. This one has just um, they just put them in the new box. So if we look at the original ones, you can see the Bone Shaker, Twin Mill, the Fusia Busta, uh, the Porsche GT3, the Muscle and Blown, the Low Lux, which I would love to hunt down because I love that casting, the Mighty K, and the GMC Hummer EV. So I bought two of those because I wasn't sure if I was going to find the rest of the line. They didn't have all these at the store because if they did, I would have bought them. Um, so I'm glad I hunted some of the first ones down, but now it seems like we're getting into official era of this, um, with the, with, especially with the line that basically says they're going to keep making these for at least the rest of this year, which is cool. So go ahead and look at all these. There you can see all the cars on the side of the box are represented here. Apparently they're coming in waves of eight. Uh, which is kind of different from most of the other Hot Wheels lines. Uh, some of the store exclusive lines come out in eight, but these are cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at each of them. We have the Porsche 914 Safari moving part. I think these actually all have moving parts. They do. Um, the 69 Ford Mustang. This one is especially interesting because this casting, um, 
doesn't exist anywhere else in the Hot Wheels line. Uh, this is like a combination of the Von Gitten, like RTR 69 Mustang with a little bit of the Elite Custom Mustang. And I feel like there's some Hoonicorn elements in there with the twin turbo sticking out of the hood too. Very interesting. That means we're getting new castings for this line. And I don't think those wheels are anywhere else in the Hot Wheels series. Um, so this is a really, really cool one. So Next up, Heavy Hitcher, the tow truck. This is not one I expected to see ever in a larger scale, but really cool that they did that. Next up, we have the red EV Hummer. I am not a big EV car person, but the Hummer is such a cool car. Uh, I've seen them in real life. They are absolutely huge in real life. And I like that they have like T-top or Targa roofs on it. Just a cool casting. But this is another one I'm really looking forward to. The Diminici Veloce. I cannot say it that way. It just is an awesome <laughs> car name. But this moving part is the doors open. Um, the one bad thing I noticed about this one in particular, if you want to keep this package, you basically can't because that rubber band is going to ruin the paint and the tampos on the door. So if you buy this one and you want to keep it in the package, I would pop it open and cut that rubber band off and save the car for the future because with, with that rubber band on, it's going to ruin it. So next up, we have the Bone Shaker in a very cool like blue purpley color. Definitely has a hardcore paint job with the skull driving. Um, I'm not a huge Bone Shaker guy. I know a lot of collectors that go after this uh this one has a moving engine which is going to be cool to unbox and try um so there's that the muscle and blown which we've kind of looked at uh it has the opening hood which is cool because that doesn't happen on the main line so it'll be awesome to see what kind of engine this actually has and then lastly we have the 2022 camaro zl1 so this is a door opener again really nice casting uh the same wheels that the mustang has i don't remember i think this does this is a um this is a main line if i remember right um, but it's cool. I really like that. Like, I think it's called Accelerate Yellow on the Corvette, but I don't know what it's called on the Camaro. But I'm really interested in um, opening these because, like I said, these were eight, what, $8.99, I think. Um, whereas the premiums, 143rd, they're like the collector's version. Those are $25. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how many tampos this have, like the quality feel in your hand. I'm just excited to open these. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to open the Porsche Safari first. Uh, my guess is that there will be uh, some kind of screw base underneath these because it sure looks like there could be. Um, but let's go ahead and open it. So both sides of these have tape, like the tape circles on them. So if you uh, go to the store and you're worried about one being opened, uh, that's definitely how you can tell. So um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep the boxes for these. I don't really want to tear them up, but that, oh well. Because I'm going to take them off the sand and I don't really want to keep like, oh, okay. So take a look at that. So it really does look like a mainline just brought to life. Like it's so much bigger. Uh, the wheels, are they plastic? Uh, they are plastic. I don't think they're rubber. Mm. Oh, no, they might be rubber. I think they might be. Let me go ahead and see. Oh, nice. Okay, so it has the, like, foldable, like, these are so much better than screws because then you don't have to get the screwdrivers out. Oop. Go ahead and take that tape off there. I'm excited about this line. Let me know uh, your thoughts on this line in the comments. Of course, I can't get these up. Okay. There's one. There is the other. Boom. So there's the base. There's the background. The background is cool, but look at this. This is actually really nice. It looks like it has... Definitely has pad printed tampos, which is really cool because it, like, I would have expected it to have the um, printer style tampos because of how large the tampos are. But nope, this has the good tampo. So another plus to this line. I love the roof rack. So let me see. Are these rubber? I'm like putting my fingernail into it. I, th I think they, I don't know. I can't really tell. No, they, I think they are hard rubber. Yeah, it's leaving, like when I put my fingernail in it, it's leaving a mark. So these are hard rubber. I don't know if you can see that right there. 
Yeah, so these are hard rubber. They look like plastic, but they are actually rubber, which is killer. Um, I did not expect that, although I should have because a lot of these cars, in order to like do the pullback, you need like a grippier tire. So, ooh, look how smooth that is. Nice, I'm impressed with these. Okay, so this one, the hood opens, or the trunk, technically, right? Let's see. Is there something keeping it there? Uh, see if I can get like a. Let me see if I can use this. Because I don't want to. I don't want to use the razor blade and like ding the paint or anything. There it goes. Well, that was a very um, interesting. So that is the uh, fuel cell in there. It's odd that they opened that part, but it's kind of cool that they put the fuel cell uh, detail into it. But. I mean, it's not too great. There's not too much detail. It's just a big plastic fuel cell. But the fact that they put that detail there and have the moving part, I'm a fan. This is super cool. So let's go ahead and test the pullback action. What everyone has been waiting for. Okay. Ooh. There it goes. Let's see. Do burnout. Nice. So that will go for a while. These have really nice click me mechanisms. When you roll it back, it feels quality. Uh, when it rolls, it's so smooth. Like I've never had a pullback card that does the mechanism so smooth. It's not like wobbling up and down. It's not making a clicking noise. That is really nice. I'm very impressed with this car. Absolutely to me, this is a 10 out of 10 for $8. The licensed moving part, the mechanism is nice. The way it looks, it has the good pad printed tampos. We are off to an excellent start to this line. I mean, that looks incredible. Man, that's awesome. Super pumped about that. Like, look how cool that looks even just to display. That's a nice car. Man, let me know if you're collecting this line. Let me know in the comments because this is, I'm already impressed with this line. Seriously, so cool. Okay. All right, let's open the Mustang next. Oop. Okay, let's see if I can do this one a little better. Oh, I didn't even need to tape off, take off the tape, did I? Just gotta pop this off. These are a little tricky. Still better than a screwdriver because you don't have to, you don't need anything technically to do it. Nice, look at that. That looks sick. Dang. It's definitely elements of the main line, the 69 Mustang Fastback. It's, the elements are there, but you can definitely see it's changed. I mean, I wish that other one had, like, that one was supposed to have the, uh, like, injector stacks coming out on the main line. It had nothing, but now we get twin turbos on this one. But this looks cool. This is in this very same style as that custom Camaro we got in the 2023 main line. I like it. This car feels heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, this one has more, I don't want to say minimal tampos, but, like, compared to this one, that tampos all the way around. Uh, this one has less. So the, I don't know if they put more work into the casting on this one. But even, I mean, even the chassis looks good. It's nice and and smooth. Oh, I like the blue lights. Okay, let's see. I think the moving part is the hood, right? Yeah. Nice. Look at that. No detail, but it's got a nice twin turbo engine. If you were a customizer, this would be an excellent casting for you to get and customize that engine because you could, I mean, really all you need is like a certain size Allen wrench will get those off or you can buy the triangle, like the safety uh, screwdrivers off Amazon, which I did and take that apart and customize it. But man, that looks good. For a brand new casting to the line, excellent. Let's see. Ooh. See, that one sounded more like the traditional, uh, like, pullback car. Kind of that clicky noise. Yeah, that one has a little bit more click to it, so I wonder if they'll uh, differ by design. But overall, just, again... Just having that card to display looks sick. And the fact that it um, has the pullback action to it. And what they've done is they've done a good job actually putting the mechanism within the car. Because when you set this down, you cannot tell this is a pullback car. 
You really can't. Either can you here. Like, I mean, really, it just looks like a regular Hot Wheel. The only thing you might see is that, like, square in the back. But, <clears throat> I mean, really, it's not bad. Especially this one. They did a great job at this. Like I said, they did a good job with the design. The whole floor is flat. Man, that looks good. Okay. All right, I'm trying to get a, oh, I'm trying to get all these boxes out of the way. Okay. Heavy Hitcher. Looking forward to seeing the design on this one. Man, that's so cool. It's always cool to see like Hot Wheels original castings in a larger scale because you're not used to doing that. I mean, I enjoy it. Like, I love seeing the, like, the custom, uh, like, I don't want to, I guess they would be awards that people have done at the Hot Wheels conventions where they've made, like, huge scale, like, custom Camaros or Twin Mills or something like that. Those are always cool to look at. So, all right, let's see. So, this tow hitch goes down. This looks so cool. Hot Wheels Racing, got the 68, the checkered flags. Again, look at that, a flat floor. Look how deep that screw is. Woo! That's crazy. Okay. What does it say on the bottom? Heavy Hitcher 2022. Yeah, this is really cool. I like that the hitch actually goes back up so you don't have to like drive with it down, but it's got those big like steel wheels on it. All right, let's see this one. Let's roll this one back. Yeah, I would say that one does have the noise too, but it's less than the Mustang. I think the Mustang was the noisiest so far. Let's see. Yeah, these are definitely, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll show you. Like right there where my fingernail is. Dig into it right there. So it is, these are like really good looking rubber tires. They're hard rubber. They're not like the uh, um, car culture tires where they're like a soft compound. These are very hard compound tires, which is cool because that means they'll they'll probably withstand a lot of play rolling but man look at that that looks so good i love large scale hot wheels that is so killer Whoop. will it actually tow and it actually tows check that out let's see if it'll do it with the okay ready yes i didn't i didn't put a lot of rolls on that one because i didn't want it to fly off the table but it will tow and pull back how cool is that okay all right, let's see. The 2002 Camaro ZL1. Yep. Yeah, already I'm impressed with this line. I will collect as many of these as they uh, as they release. Oh, I forgot the Camaro. I almost didn't see that because the light, like the paint was so bright. I didn't even pay attention to it. These are a little harder than I thought. They're like tabbed in there, so they have a big, like a, let me see if I can show you. Like they're like elongated a little bit. So they're a little bit harder to, to get out than some of the other ones. But I appreciate that because the cars aren't falling out at least. Another flat floor. Look at that. That looks awesome. It's got, is that clear headlights? No, that's a black metal. Seems like metal. Okay, let me see. Get this rubber band off. Oh, those wheels look good. They almost look like IROC wheels on this Camaro. Nice. Uh, I think those are, are those printer style? Let me see. Those are printer style tampos on this one. So this one um, was the traditional ink stamp ones. That's why they look so sharp. And then back here, same with this one, right? Yep. Then back here, uh, we have the printer style tampos, which is odd, but maybe that design, they needed to use it for some reason because it's multicolor. I don't know. I'm not sure why they chose it. I don't really like it. You can see the artifacts like around the paint. Like it looks like there's like speckles on the back of it. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. All right, let's see the doors. The doors open well, not a ton of detail on them, but the interior doesn't look too bad. It's actually got some like cutouts to it i don't know about that Ooh, is that of a roll cage is that what that is i don't know what's in the back there you see that hmm let me see i don't know Let's see if i can put the light any better yeah it looks like it has like the 
Copo Camaro like drag interior like with huge roll bars or something in the back. I don't know what's going on there, but it looks, I mean, it still looks good. Yeah, look, there's two nitrous tanks in the back. So it has like, it's like a race ZL one, which is kind of cool. But once you realize I'm like, well, it looks stock from the outside, but then it's got those two nitrous tanks and that big roll cage. So this one's hiding a little bit of a secret, a little bit of a sleeper there. So I wish there was some grill de detail on this one because the real life car wouldn't have the whole grill, the same color as the car. But overall, it's a good casting. The, I mean, it, with a little bit more detail, to me, this looks very similar to the uh, premium line that's $25. So, I mean, I really don't think that line, that $25 line. To me, if you gave me the cho choice between buying a few of these and the premium 143rds, I'd be picking these. Yeah, that one was pretty loud. Dang, that looks good though. Heck yeah. I think they're all geared the same. I'm, I'm sure the mechanism is probably all the same. Like they don't go faster or slower than um, the next. Uh, I would think that probably the only dependent on that is the rear wheel diameter, um, just because that would probably do a little bit of gear reduction or increasing. Um, but this is cool. Heck yeah, that looks good. Again, just display that car looks awesome. So, okay, muscle and blown. This is a good fantasy casting. Like I like this casting in general. So, um, I don't I don't mind fantasy casting. So I know a lot of people aren't like super big fans of them, but done right, they look good. And I think this is one of those that is done really, really right. Boom, one. I'm getting better at it as it goes along. coming off there it goes again another flat floor it's got those same five spoke wheels this time it has a gold outer man look at that so that has those look like ink stamp tampos those don't look like the printed yep you can see where the um ink stamping there in the center wasn't the best but looks good like look at the graphics really clean looks good okay in the hood opens how cool is that Man, how often do you actually get to see a, a fantasy casting mainline with an opening hood and all the hood detail, like all the engine detail? No, I mean, you never get to see that. This is so cool. Hot Wheels is giving us another look at a casting we like um, because that's really cool. I, I'm, I'm probably like nerding out on these, uh, but I hope you're with me in that seeing like more of a car that you already like. Like I never expected to get a opening hood version of this car, but now we do. And that is awesome. Again, short on detail, but high on fun. <laughs> you know? Man, that looks cool. Look, that chrome interior will blind you. Doing a burnout. Heck yeah. So let's see if that was loud. Yeah, that one's a little louder too. Everyone but the Porsche so far has had that like that like classic pullback car sound. The Porsche was super smooth though. I don't know if I got just like a really good mechanism on that one or if that's how all the Porsches are, but I'm definitely, I might buy another set of these if I can find them to keep in the package because they are pretty cool. Like I could see these going up in price over time, the more they're appreciated, especially these early cars because they went and, I mean, they came and went quickly from the store. So I think the people who got them probably lucked out on that. All right, let's see the bone shaker. Again, this one has a moving part. I don't think we've gotten a moving part bone shaker. So this is the one with the roof that's open. There are a couple different bone shaker variations. Um, I think the original had a flat roof, but now they do an open roof. And I actually don't mind the open roof on this one because you can see the interior detailing, which is really cool because there's like, um, what is that? I can't remember what that called. Like the steel floor. What is that called? Oh, that the diamond plating. Oh my gosh, I just like totally blanked on that. Um, you can see the diamond plating and some like the holes and the riveting and stuff. It looks really cool. So got the bone shaker. This is an ink stamped tampo. Like look at the skulls in the background. I don't know if you can see that if it's coming through, but there's like black skulls behind the white flames. It looks really hardcore. Like there you can see it in the back. Looks really good. That is awesome. So this one, again, I this one is probably, you can might be able to tell a little bit that's a pullback car but i mean really not not super a lot like it doesn't have that big chunky like circle motor thing in the back 
Um, so this one, the, the motor creaks when you drop. That's cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. Ready? So that one's a little loud, but then it does it only do it when you roll it? Okay, so it's only the front tires that actually move the engine, but there you can see. Let's see if we can do it a little closer to the camera. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. I know it's not a big deal, but it's cool that they're even going, because they could have just given you this and not how to moving part or anything, but that is hardcore. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, next up, uh, I want to save this one for last because that one's kind of my favorite of the line. Let's do the Hummer. Yeah, I've seen a few of these in real life. Uh, one of the GM, it's actually an old Pontiac dealership I used to work for in, up in Troy, Ohio. Uh, they still function and they are a GMC dealer and they had a few uh, Hummers and the owner took the Hummer to a uh, cruise in last summer and I got to stand next to it and I was blown away at by how large this car actually is i mean these hummers are huge um huge interior huge exterior like just the whole thing i was i mean it's just a giant car it really is so it's got the hummer tampos on the front it's got clear headlights which are a piece of the window insert it looks like it's got those uh t-tops off and like the i guess you call it a targa um you can see the interior detail it's got the bed detail um it's got the same wheels as the porsche is this, and it has a relatively flat floor in terms of that there is no big like engine mechanism that you can really see. To me, this just looks like they upscaled uh, the main line. So this has a front, a frunk, a front trunk opening. And that's cool because it looks like there is a skateboard in the front, which is awesome. Another detail they didn't have to put there, um, but they did. So that's pretty cool. I know it's not, it's just like a plastic skateboard, I think, right? Isn't that what that is? Yeah, it looks like a skateboard, but it has square wheels. Let me know if I'm getting that wrong, but it looks like a skateboard to me. Again, another cool thing um, that they actually included a moving part, but the rest of the car has good detail too. Let's go ahead and roll it. See, that? that is more like the Porsche, and I'm wondering if it does have something to do with these wheels um, because the... Like... It's very smooth. Like the other ones are click, like it has a little click to it, um, but it's much smoother than the other ones. But man, that's cool. Really like that. I want to open the white one, but since it's like a first edition and it has like the uh, the pre-series box, I'm probably not going to open that one because I have the red one. Uh, but so far, so good. All right, the Veloce. Love this casting. And I like that they did it in blue too because the first... Uh, main line was blue and then they made it in that like maroon color but I think it looks really good in this blue and it's got those big steel wheels on it and they're white oh man that looks so cool okay pop these out Boom. okay get this so it doesn't look like that the uh rubber bands let's see so they haven't dug into the paint so far so I don't know if the do these have a build date S50A. So I would assume, I think that S is 2023 and this would be the 50th week of 2023. So it was made um, in December, the second week of December, I believe of last year. Um, is that, what is the other ones? S49. Yeah, that would probably put that in December. Yeah. So this is probably a December build date if I'm remembering right. So man, this looks so cool. I love that we got a bigger version of this. Rally Elson Gundo. That is such a cool cast. I mean, it looks exactly like the main line. It does. It's even got the mud flaps and everything. This one has got a semi-flat floor. I think they might have bumped it up a little bit right there. But again, it doesn't look too much different from the main line. So I wouldn't expect it to be a pullback car necessarily. So this one, the door opens as well. You um, can see that interior. Again, you don't get to see the interior in the other one in the main line because it's a 164 scale non-moving parts, but it appears there's something in the back seat, maybe a roll cage or something, um, but pretty cool. This is like a fancy casting that looks like a Pantera to me, mixed with a little bit, a few other cars, but it's very heavily Pantera influenced, but man, does it look killer. Love that paint job. So sick. Okay, let's try this one. 
Um, not too bad. I would put that on the medium sound scale. It wasn't too loud. It wasn't too quiet either. So let's see. That one, oh, that one took off pretty good. So, man, I really like these. That is a killer looking cast. I'm trying to see, because that was clear, I think, on the uh, main line. But I think it's that dark plastic that you can't see through now. But, man, I like that. Really, really like that. Again, just sitting there chilling. Makes a good display. All these cars do. All these cars, I'm very impressed with this line. So, that was the first wave of 2023 Hot Wheels pullback speeder. So let me know in the comments what you thought of these, which one was your favorite, if you've bought them, if you've raced any of them, how they do on the track. Um, this is cool. This is a great line. I'm definitely like giving the 64 wheels endorsement on this one. I think the price is right. I think the detail is right. I think they did a good job on the mechanism. Um, this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a much more successful line than the premium 143rd scales are. Uh, I think it's just in a budget that more people can afford. They're more willing to take the chance on $8 than they are $25 plus. Dollars. Uh, the cars to me don't really look that much different from the premiums. I know they're, the premiums do have better wheels. They have better detailing, but do they have three times better detailing than this? That I'm on the fence about. So really impressed with this. I think these are killer. Um, like I said, let me know what you think of these in the comments. Which one was your favorite? If you were able to find uh, the first wave of these, and if so, um, what store you found them at, um, let me know. Oh, man, sounds like some Fast and Furious going on outside there. But, um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts overall with this. Um, I, I think my favorite is probably uh, the Diminici Veloce here. I really like this casting. But the 914 Safari just has so much presence, like the paint job, the like retro rally stripes, the painted beadlocks. I think this is probably going to be the most popular one of this line um, in the Mustang, too, just because there's a lot of Ford collectors out there. So, well, I really appreciate watching Sam 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as soon as they release wave two or three or whatever of these, I will try to pick these up because I think these are a great buy. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments and then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Boop, boop.